Hi everyone, welcome to this new Focus Friday video. Uh, I'm Dutch Reefer, if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you're a returning viewer, well, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you like uh, my videos, thanks for your continued support. Um, today I'm going to do a video about uh, uh, some macro shots, so I'm going to show you some corals and animals in my tank uh, from up close to give you a better look at what they do and how they work and uh, I'll try to tell you something about it as well I also uh, this week I bought a new uh, skimmer because my old one broke down and uh, I've replaced the uh, bio pellet reactor with uh, some uh, Cheeto uh, macro algae so uh, but I'll show you that maybe in the next video because uh, it has just been running for a day or two, so it's a bit early to tell. Uh, so today some, uh, some macro shots. Uh, so for the next nine somewhat minutes, I'll uh, give you some close-ups, show you some close-ups. Uh, the video is in 4K, so if you have 4K monitor or TV, uh, good for you. I hope you enjoy it. So let's, uh, let's get started. So the first creature that uh, I want to show you today is this uh, porcelain crab. The porcelain crab is a, a very small crab, as you can see, and it likes to host in, uh, in corals. Um, whenever you have a big anemone, like a carpet anemone, um, then, uh, then it will host in that, but since I don't have any big anemones, uh, it's hosting the Stylophora. So as you can see, this particular porcelain crab has uh, uh, some different tools that it can use to, uh, to get around. Of course, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, big claws that it can use to... Uh, to uh, bite off some algae from rock or whatever or grab a piece of food out of the air or out of the water of course I always imagine uh, water for fish is like air for humans so I doubt fish even realize they're in water but water that's uh, I digress so the first uh, so the two paws of course the two claws um, and then it has also has two uh, wavy paws with some uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English but uh, it, it uses it like a net to catch particles out of the water and then of course eat it with some two other very tiny claws so you might say that this crab uses at least three different tools <laughs> to, uh, to gather food as you can see and I really love this uh, this crab. It sheds its skin uh, now and then, so eventually it will get larger. Uh, but it will take a very long time, and I like it while it's small. So, no rush. Then uh, some uh, other macro shots. For example, this uh, Trachyphilia, which I... Um, I really like the species Trachyphilia, it's a large polyp stony coral, so um, actually this coral has only one polyp, which you see right now, so that's also why it's a large polyp stony coral. And um, the most beautiful thing about Trachyphilia is the different colors that you can get them in. As you can see this one is green and blue, with some uh, 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 warp paint-like stripes. Um, as a pattern. Another trachyphilia is right here. It's a somewhat uh, uh, different color, different shape, but also one I uh, I really like. It's more of a mintish blue, blue light blue color. So uh, really like that one too. And some blastomusa, also a large polyp stony coral, which uh, has various polyps. And you can tell it's a blastomusa by the very distinct pattern that it has on the on the polyp itself. 
so it's a little hard to explain but when you see it uh, and when you see this pattern on, a, on an LPS coral you will be, almost be sure that it's uh, a blastomusa because of the bubbly structure on the sides with the lines in between so it's uh, quite easy to, uh, to make out then of course some other very notable colors that are of corals that are nice to uh, watch from uh, up close are Goniopora. I have shown you some of my Goniopora before if you've watched previous videos. And these are just amazing corals, uh, especially from up close, uh, since they uh, extend their polyps quite, hey, quite, quite well. And now there's a copper band uh, floating in front of the uh, camera now and then. Trying, craving for attention. Um, so uh, I digress again. Uh, back to the Goniopora. The polyps are. This is a short polyp Goniopora. As you can see, it's quite uh, short on the po on the polyp stems. Uh, it's purple with a bit of pink. Then here's another one which I really like, which is more of a pinkish color with green yellow uh, inside. And yeah, this one is not short polyp, as you can see. But still really nice to uh, to see it waving around in the current. Same goes for this big red one. Which is somewhat less beautiful, but still nice. And of course the green one which we'll probably be familiar with which has a uh, really nice fluorescent uh, polyps coming out of the uh, base I think I might be able to show you the... Uh, no, it's gone I thought I'd show you the, uh, the base of the skeleton but it's uh, polyps are already too far extended to show you So then uh, another coral which I really uh, like, I have various of those, which are called uh, Zoanthus. Let's uh, see if we can get a nice close-up of these ones, which actually I glued them to the back of the tank, but they fell off, so I have to reattach them. So here's some examples of Zoanthus. And then of course, many more like the purple monsters which actually when you zoom in they look a lot like monsters <laughs> and of course another really beautiful coral is uh, this uh, Gorgonian yellow one a red brownish uh, base with uh, yellow polyps and uh, I do notice it had kind of a hard time last week so I was fearing that it might not uh, survive but then since a day or two polyps are definitely returning so I have good hopes that it will actually survive it's always a bit of a gamble with, Goni with Gorgonians if they will live or not but this one seems to be doing okay now. So I could show you a lot more corals, but since it's a Focus Friday video and I try to keep them around 10 minutes, I'll uh, make this uh, one of the last ones I'm going to show you. Some Euphilia, two different kinds actually. Uh, a toxic green on the back and uh, a more purplish green on the in the front. As you can see both are hosting a clownfish. And uh, they have to share so uh, they uh, don't really like each other they do a bit but I think they like to uh, keep some distance from each other at least a few centimeters and that works out for them so whatever rings their bell right so that's uh, that's it I'm going to uh, end the video for today I hope you enjoyed some of these shots and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye